Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are brand new and have maybe never seen one of my videos before, hello, my name is Brittany. It is great to meet you and thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. For today's video, we are going to be doing drum roll, please. Are you ready, guys? <gasps> A tutorial using the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette. I am so excited. Literally, my sweet little co-workers back in California saw me swatching this bad boy for weeks, and they surprised me with it for my going away gift. So if you're watching, I dedicate this video to you guys, and I love you so much, and I miss you. Thank you so much for the palette. I love it so much. So here is what the inside of the Nudie Patootie palette looks like. You get seven mattes, seven shimmers, two of them which are like a foiled shadow, so it recommends that you use a glitter glue or use it wet, but honestly, your girl used her finger and it looks just fine, so the pigment is there. Um, I am so impressed with this palette, guys. I even, sneak peek, used this as blush and I used these two shades as my contour and I used this as my highlighter. Um, the palette is priced at $45 which I feel like for 14 shadows and the variation and the packaging and all that good stuff it's a pretty good deal especially for how much palettes are these days they usually range around that price. I love that you get a big old mirror here. I don't want to show you too much of my room but you do get a big old mirror here. Um, yeah, and I love the packaging and everything, the concept, the whole nudie patootie thing I'm on board with. But yeah, I adore this palette. It has great pigment, blendability, you'll see all that in the video, so I won't give away too much. If you guys want to see more looks, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I totally would do that for you guys. Um, also, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, just so that you are in the loop whenever I post any more videos or anything like that. You will be the first to know if you are subscribed and are part of my family here on YouTube. Also, if you feel like it, you don't have to, but it would be amazing if you follow me on my Instagram. It's just Brittany.Bruce. I'll leave it around here somewhere for you guys. Um, I post whenever I film on there. I post uh, makeup of the days and some other things I'll be doing on there. So we will cut straight to the video and thank you guys so 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 very much for sticking here with me on my channel and just being there for me. I appreciate it so much and we'll be pumping out some good content within this year and just going forward. I'm so excited that you guys have hung around and are watching my videos but yeah let's get straight to the video mm -hmm. bye guys okay so let's hop straight into the tutorial I'm clearly very excited about this palette I am so freaking obsessed guys but first we're gonna be going in with the shade bear this is just a really beautiful light peachy transition shade so like all my other tutorials I'm gonna lay this bad boy down into the crease you don't have to be perfect about it but the good thing about this shadow is it basically blends itself out so if you are a beginner or just new to eyeshadow or just like natural looks I really think you'll love this palette because it's super easy to work with and like I said it literally did all the work for me Up next, I'm going to go in with the shade Butt Naked, and this is a mauve shade, and I'm going to use a smaller crease brush than we previously used, and I'm just going to really work this in using windshield wiper motions. I'm going to put this all the way in the crease from the inner corner to the outer corner, and I'm not really going any lower than my crease just because I am trying to create that really pretty shadowed effect, and since this is a more natural look, and there honestly really isn't that many deep colors in this palette, I'm going to keep it nice and light and just really work that in going back and forth. And going in with the same brush that we used in the very beginning, I'm just going to blend the two shades together to make sure there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Nikki Nikki. This is the darkest shade in the palette, and it is a completely matte brown. And I'm going to be working this into the 
very outer V of my eye just to create a little bit of definition. It's not super dark, so it looks really good if you're going for that natural look, but you can totally build this shade up to a pretty intense um, brown, especially if you were to use a more dense brush. I'm using a pretty fluffy one, but if you do use a denser brush, I'm sure you could build the color up to be pretty true to what you see in the pan. And now I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend everything together so we have no harsh lines and everything looks nice and flawless. Now since we're done with the crease, we're gonna go in and cut everything out. I'm gonna be using tart shape tape and a really, really flat packing brush. And I'm just basically cutting out where my crease is. If you ever have trouble finding your crease, just look straight ahead, open your eye up, and right where your eye creases is where you wanna cut it with the concealer. This is just really gonna create a really nice clean base, especially since we're going in with the yellow in the palette. It will really ensure that it shows up nice and vivid. I love doing this step. even. If you're using a glitter it helps the glitter to adhere to your eye this is really really nice if you are just going for something super sharp and clean and also I forgot to mention if you feel like you don't really have much lid space you can totally mimic a lid by just going up a little higher than your crease naturally is and this will create the illusion of having a larger lid up next, going in with my absolute favorite color in the entire palette, the mustard shade called Stripped. I will be taking this on a flat brush, the same brush actually that we used to apply the concealer with, and I'm using Padding Motions. I love this shade because there's absolutely no fallout. Well, in the entire palette, I have not had one issue with fallout, and I'm just patting this right over top of where we put the concealer, meeting up with that shade that we have on the outer part of the eye. Okay, and dipping back into the shade Neki Neki, which is the deepest color in the palette, using the same exact brush that we previously used, I always like to blend the two colors together just to ensure that there's not that harsh line between the yellow and the brown. This just really makes everything look kind of like a gradient effect and just super blended, super perfected. I'm all about blending when it comes to eyeshadow. I feel like that is the most important part because if you don't blend it, it just looks really harsh and the look honestly doesn't look complete. So. That being said, I always make sure I take my time blending. Sometimes I can't show it all in the video or we would be here all day long, but just know I take a lot of time to blend. Now going in with our big blending brush, no additional product, I'm just going to tilt my head back a little. That helps to see if you have the same shape on both eyes and I'm just going to blend until everything looks nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go in with the lightest shade in the palette which is called Stark and a baby tiny little detail brush. I'm going to be taking this right underneath the arch of my brow just to really highlight it and lift it up. This shade has a little bit of iridescence to it, but it's not like super glittery or anything like that. And speaking of glitter, let's add a little bit of All Natural, which is a foiled gold shadow. I'm using my finger because I felt like it applied best this way, and I'm just going to pack it right where the brown and the mustard color meet. So basically right where the pupil of your eye is. And I'm just packing this from the lash line all the way up into the crease, but not going into the crease. Okay, and once again, we're going to dip back into the shade Stark and use our really small detail brush to highlight the innermost corner of the eye just to make everything look super wide and awake.
And it's time to give that lower lash line some attention. I'm gonna go back into the peachy shade called Bare, and using my little fluffy brush, I'm just gonna work this onto the lower lash line, doing windshield wiper motions just like you did on your crease. It's kind of the same concept. You're just building up that color, and we will go in with the mustard yellow here in just one second. And now we're gonna go in with that strip shade and use the same brush that we just used for the lower lash line. For this shade, I'm only gonna focus it from the middle of the eye to the outer corner of the eye just because I thought it looked super cool that you could see both the peach shade and the yellow shade and it just created a really fun shadow and I felt like it just brought the look completely together. And now using any black eyeliner you have, I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline. This just created a little bit of something something because I felt like the look was super natural and I just want to add a little bit of depth. And like I've been saying, I'm skipping the falsies today guys and just applying a heck of a lot of mascara because I just am filling mascara and mascara only and giving my lashes a break and they look pretty dang good. And guess what? We're going to be using the shade Reveal, which is a matte taupe color. And I'm actually going to use this, guys, to contour with. Now, I know if you are any deeper than me, this may not work for you. But honestly, you can probably take Reveal and Butt Naked or even Nakey Nakey and mix it together to create a darker shade. But I just thought it was so cool that there are shades in here that you can use on your face. And powder is powder and makeup is makeup. And you can use makeup anywhere. There are no rules. I'll also be taking this along my jawline, just like I do with any normal contour powder or bronzer. It's not super intense, but like I said, we are going for an overall more natural look. I know it's not super natural, but it is a little bit to me. And I'm going to use this also on my nose just to create a little bit of color because honestly, your foundation basically whites out everything on your face. You always want to bring a little bit of life back in. And dipping back into Bear, we will actually be using this as our blush. And I was really surprised because this is freaking beautiful. This is like the perfect color for my skin tone. It is so peachy, so beautiful. And like I said earlier, how it blended out in the crease is exactly how it blended on my face. Super flawless, super smooth. I will definitely be using this for blush in the future. Figured why not show you guys the rest of my face routine going in with the Pro Fusion Contour Palette. This is actually pretty dang good and it was like not expensive at all. I'm using my Dampen Beauty Blender just to cut that contour and blush out so it looks nice and sharp. Now to highlight those cheekbones, I'm going to use my highlighting brush and the shade Bare. I'm going to use this on the highest parts of my cheekbones and guys, this is super beautiful. You have to build it up just a little bit, but honestly, once you do, it is so gorgeous. There's no glitter in it, so it is just a super angelic glow from within. It's so hard to explain. But I'm obsessed and I will be using this all the freaking time for highlighter. I also like to take the other end of my highlighting brush and apply that to the middle of my brows just because sometimes my eyes look a little close together and so this just creates the illusion as if they were a little further apart. And now taking a completely clean brush, it's time to brush away that bake. I like to let it sit for a little bit just to ensure that it's going to last all day long and stay nice and sharp. And for my lips, I'm going to go in with the Girlactic Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Posh. This is literally my favorite color because it is the perfect tone. I felt like it paired perfectly with the look and I just love the formula. It lasts all day long. It doesn't get super dry and cracky on my lips. It's super, super good. 
And to top that off, I'll be going in with e.l.f.'s Plumping Lip Gloss in Mocha Twist just because my lips are a little on the dry side and I wanted to hydrate those bad boys up a little bit. And that about wraps it up for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves!